Yeah, I guess so. You know, I, I think about it. Boy, time just goes so fast. I think we all said that. And I, I'll tell you the other thing that caught my attention last night. I thought everybody looked really good. And, um, you know, for for being that long and playing pro football, I thought everybody was in, you know, really good health. So that was re- really a great thing to see. And, and um, you know, I, I even said last night, I've played football, you know, my basically my whole life and all the way through the Giants. And I never stood in front of the team one time and said one word. Because I just I didn't like that, and so they made me get up last night. And I was like, oh my gosh, and you know I said a few things, took a t- few shots at people, people, and then, uh, but I said it was like Bill Parcell said in the locker room when the game was over, and it was all he just goes, look, you'll carry this with the rest of your life, you know, and said a few other things. I went, wow, it's so true, and it's amazing to win, to win the Super Bowl. That that bond is, it's incredible. It's it's. And as time goes on, it's only gotten stronger. So when I see guys, you know, no matter who it is, I mean, I can run into whoever, you know, the guy that was the 53rd guy on the roster that year, if there was 53, I can't remember how many we had back then. But uh, if I see him somewhere in the airport, you know, it's like we relive, talk, and smile, and and it's a, it's a great feeling. Um, but, you know, people always ask me things like, I saw somebody on TV, a writer, going like, wow, that came out of nowhere. You know, it's just whatever. And I go, well, then, you know, you, you didn't follow sports because we were pretty hot at the end of that season for quite a while and had a lot of big games. And, um, you know, we played for a coach that was uh, not afraid. And uh, I, I don't think I realized that as much when I played for Bill until I got done. I looked back at big games, moments. Then I started getting into TV going, damn, Bill takes a lot of chances. And, and uh, that was the way he is. So that Super Bowl... I think just kind of personified everything that Bill Parcells was as a coach. Well, I mean, that's the story. It sounds good. and and uh, But, you know, I don't know. I don't remember the week going, wow, this is really a special week of practice that it's going to carry over. Believe me, I had a lot of great weeks of practice where I went out and really, as Bill would say, are you watching the same game I'm watching? <laughs> and, you know, I think that's the other thing that makes it all special. Um, for all the players, all the stories that were told last night, even guys that got up and said, you know, Coach, I didn't like you when I played for you. But, man, once I got away from here, I realized how much you taught us all and all that. and went th- So that was great to hear. But I think the way Bill coached the team and the way he is with uh, his wit. Gosh, it's hard to say Bill Parcells and wit. But, but you know, the, just the way he handled players, the way he talked, it was so different. Never been around anybody like it in coaching and my whole life. I still haven't seen anybody like him as I've covered games since I've been playing. And I think that's really what made it special because it was very personal and uh, it worked. Can players today take have that tough skin to take the job? Because you and him used to go at it quite a bit on the sidelines. Well, listen, sometimes, you know, that's overblown too. Believe me, I never talked to him one time not thinking and knowing he's the big man. And there was always a line and a fear that was involved there. So, and could players take him today? Probably no, no, because back in the mid '80s, a lot of us grew up with tough coaches. That's all there was. You couldn't coach football unless you were just the toughest guy on earth. And uh, so we could accept Bill. But you know, today's players are great, but you you know it, right? They can never handle the way he was back then. And I used to go down and watch him in his last coaching stop in Dallas and go, is this the same guy I played for? I mean, he's like, he was like Carvel ice cream, man. He was soft <laughs> as hell. And, and those players thought it was really over-the-top tough. And I you know, just kind of laughed and go, gosh, it, but that's the way the game is. That's the way it is. You know, everything's changed, society and would you guys let Bill coach the same way that he did back in the mid '80s? Now, would you guys let him really? I'm serious, Jeremy. Would only if he won. Yeah, would you? Yeah, that's right. He'd have to win big. No, you, no. Would you? Would you? You would question his ways and all oh, this. You know, I love it still. I turn on the TV all the time. Oh, that way doesn't work anymore. Well, it can't work anymore because people won't let it.